Howdy folks, so we're getting started on the electric winch for the Istabreeze wind turbine and today is a perfect example of why small domestic wind turbines are a necessary accompaniment to your solar panels or your off-grid power systems here in Ireland. Today's a typical winter's day and I don't know if you can hear the generator running over in the shed there but the solar panels are doing absolutely nothing. Long story short, the original wall-mounted DIY winch here did work, but because it's on the wall, it's not in line with the mast over there. And what would happen was, it would start pulling the whole thing over towards the wall and would eventually hit it. Our solution to this was that I would have my better half pulling a guide rope, which would keep the mast in line, but from her perspective, she couldn't see the angle and was relying on me shouting instructions at her to keep the thing straight. And as you all know, that's a recipe for disaster. Jesus Christ! So first thing I've got to do is clear out this old platform out of here. It's pretty much firewood at this stage. Clear out all the other bits, the winch, all that. And then I can cut some rebar and drive it down into the ground to work as anchors for the concrete foundation to go into. And a quick reminder guys, don't forget to check out ourclickennyhomestead.com for some of our handmade organic skincare products. We developed them to cure our daughter's skin condition that she had at the time, and they worked exceptionally well. We sold a load of them throughout November, December and Christmas, and we're getting some great feedback from people on them. They're so good, I started using them myself, and after 20 years on the tools, my hands are as good as new. So whether it's curing an issue you might have, or just part of your daily beauty routine, do try them out. Within the first 15 minutes, you will see and feel the difference. So go check it out, ourclickennyhomestead.com. For the frame, I'm using 40mm by 40mm angle steel, and it's 5mm thick, so it's pretty strong stuff. I've got 12 metres of it in total, but I'm right up against the clock now, because today is the only dry afternoon I'm going to have. Tomorrow's meant to be a complete washout, so I have to get this frame cut and all welded up together before the rain starts tomorrow. <music> So the whole idea here is that this frame gets sunk down into the foundation about that deep. The winch mounts on here nice and high up, gives it a good leverage position and allows it to clear the counterweight seat of the mast when it's pulling it up. And this whole thing, even though it looks small, weighs an absolute ton. So once it's set down in the foundation, it's going nowhere. Frame is all fabricated, ground pins are in place. So until the concrete and the winch arrive, to be continued. <laughs> 